So we are in the middle of doing our landscaping and um, we're almost done. And over here, outside, I have this amazing barbecue and we debated a ton on barbecue or Blackstone, barbecue or Blackstone. And I really just never used a Blackstone before on my own. So I decided that we're gonna go for a barbecue. And then of course I'm talking about it and we can kind of see this, you know, Alexa over here in the back listening to me and um, this kind of started showing up in my feed. So this is from a company called Steelmade. We're gonna do an unboxing on this and it's gonna be a Blackstone for anything. They make Blackstones for um, your inside ovens uh, and grills and then your outside grills. What's that called? A range, your inside range. So we're gonna do an unboxing, show you guys what it is and uh, we'll see. And then if you guys are interested, I'll do more videos on using it um, teppanyaki style. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, I know this channel is a photography channel, but like always, I do a lot of weird stuff and um, I've been having fun doing stuff for the house lately. So we're gonna do stuff for the house and I know I'm gonna get cut off a lot here because I don't wanna readjust my uh, camera. Um, so I'm here and if you don't see my face, I'm so sorry, but you will hear my voice. So guys, I ordered these from a company called Steel Made. And I, as far as I know, everything is online only for them. And I ordered um, a kit. They have everything a la carte if you want, but also everything as a kit. So um, I also ordered it pre-seasoned, so I didn't have to worry about seasoning it. It comes with all these little, look at all this stuff. So, ooh, that's heavy. So I ordered the kit, and we'll just kind of start unboxing and showing you guys what we got. But think teppanyaki, think Blackstone, think everything all at once. So we have two little squirter bottles, right? So I'm gonna put oil in one, maybe water in one. Water's gonna be for cleaning, oil's for cooking. We have our scraper. So this is just gonna scrape your grill, or if you're making like onions or something, you just wanna get in there, because that's the point of these, is like it can burn, it can overcook, and you'll be able to get all that. And then we have two of our spatulas. One has holes in it, one doesn't, but this is how I'm gonna Oh. They actually feel really good. Um, I do kind of wish these were circular, um, just feeling it now, but it's a sleeve that goes in. So this is one big metal piece, one big metal piece, and kind of a, a non-stick sleeve, if you will. Same with this, it's a sleeve. Might actually be the same exact sleeve as these. So if anything happens, I'm sure you can just buy sleeves. Um, we just have a case. So this is a, uh, a case that goes in this. So obviously once it's done cooking, you can pop it in a case. Um, they have two or three different kits on these. So I just got one. Oh, flat top oil. So this comes with some flat top oil as well to prevent rust and maintain your nonstick properties for your flat top grill. Clean and apply a coat of oil after each use. So once you're done cleaning, I guess you just kind of pop this on, roll it around a little bit. I do have a couple towels that I got just for, for me getting them. I'm gonna make myself shorter here. Flat top scrub. So they sent me an email yesterday before I got this and the email was like how to clean it. They really just said water is all you needed to clean. So I'm wondering what all this stuff is actually for. Um, to remove stubborn bits of food after cooking, create a paste by mixing half cup of scrub and half cup of water directly on your flat top while still warm. Use a folded paper towel dishcloth to get it off. So a scrub, exfoliating scrub if you will. I'm trying to see if there's anything else before I Oh, dude, this is gonna go everywhere. This comes with an outdoor flat top setup instructions. I honestly feel like this is just gonna be going right on top. Now, how you guys use this is you turn on all the burners at once to create an even level of heating, and then you can kind of cook anywhere on the flat top. Cool? Okay. Okay, guys, this is gonna be a heavy baby. Oh, God. I, peanut. Peanut, peanut, peanut packing tape. Like, I haven't seen this in a long time and I get it, but this is, this is. Uh. All right, so mine did come pre-season. Nothing looks crazy or weird. Oh, okay. Oh, this actually looks different than the reviews I was watching. Oof, oof. 
All right, I'm gonna go through this one more time just in case I missed anything. Oh, but here we go, guys. This is awesome. So this is about 20 to, oh, I wanna say 30 pounds. Um, we have the holes right here. So when you're cooking, everything will go into those holes. My question is gonna be, I think it just goes right into your grill holes, right? So when you're cooking, um, like you cook a steak on your grill, the juice just goes down to the bottom, goes into the drip pan, which I like. I know that when they sell these for your regular ranges, they have little cups that can go on the bottom of it. I just don't know how that really legitimately works, but then it'll go into the cups and you can contain it. But I can cook. Oh, this is good. This is pre-seasoned. I can't tell if it is or not. I'm just gonna assume, but. It sounds good, it looks good, it's pretty big. Uh, about two and a half feet. Uh, by almost two feet. And this is made for traditional grills. So this is made for your grills. I know they make cus custom sizes and everything, but I'm excited for this. We're gonna try this tonight with some tilapia tacos. Tilapia um, on the grill. It is like 100 degrees outside, super hot. So um, I'm not rushing to get out there, but when I'm ready, it's gonna go on the grill. We're gonna heat it up, throw the oil on, and we're just gonna kind of do our thing. So. This is from Steel Made. I will throw a link in the description. You guys can find them. Um, I, I bought this myself. I think I spent about $200, found a coupon on Honey, and uh, saved a little bit of money. But if you guys have questions, let me know. And if you wanna see any cooking on this, or if I do any cooking on this, I will let you guys know. Um, but once I use it, maybe I'll do a little 30 day review just to kinda, to rock it out. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.